we're going to go through uh, quickly a few features of the board initially, and then we're going to actually show how we've used the boards uh, in our phases. We, uh, in, we have the boards in every classroom in the school. Uh, that's ranging from reception all the way up to year six. So that's 12 boards in total. Uh, we're one and a half form entry school, so there's around 350 children in the school. So obviously, um, the most obvious feature is the size of the spam wall. Um, we have just found it really beneficial in terms of that engagement when you've got a whole class sitting in front of you. Um, and the, the span wall is 40 feet long, so you can scroll through and you can create your learning journey, um, which is really good for our project-based learning coordinator when she wants to see what we've been doing in our, in our projects. Yeah, so as Charlotte mentioned, it's, it's, you see 10 feet, but however, if you go down to the uh, stand itself, it's C300, uh, you'll be able to see the boards uh, first hand and you can have multiple boards next to each other but in our scenario we have a 10 foot canvas in each classroom uh, but you can have them on corners as well and there's, there's smaller versions and also a new update is that they actually have portable uh, projectors too as well as mounted ones. Uh, so uh, this uh, scenario here we have the children uh, it's a 10 point touch board uh, so you can have multiple children working at, it at once. Uh, when we first started off, uh, the issue we had with it was that the, the board, would, because it's a virtual uh, board as well, the background would span. However, there's a new feature where you can lock it, so the board, ch 10 children can work without it moving around and they can upload images or post-its, as you can see up here. So one of the features is post-it notes and sketch, which allow the children to upload their ideas onto your span wall. So you plan your lesson, and then the children can upload either from a tablet or on, directly onto the screen. They can upload their answers via a post-it note or a sketch to share their work, and then you can talk about that with the class. Uh, another great feature with uh, this is that you can upload pictures and images really easily. It's uh, you can have, uh, you can set up a browser, or you can upload a Word document as just a matter of uh, like dragging uh, a box over an image you want to select, capture an image, it's immediately uploaded onto the canvas, and it's really user-friendly uh, feature. So it's uh, it's a way of also feeding back to children. So you could take a, a, a photograph of their work, and you can have upload the image, and you could collaboratively edit their work as well, which we'll be seeing in a few slides' time, just an example of it. This was actually a lesson I did with my class. So at Christmas, we were looking at um, a Christmas story, and it was a letter. And I was just easily able to put the letter straight onto the board, and then we were able to look at the features that the writer had used in that letter as a, a whole class and highlight those features. One of my favorite features about the span wall, we have 60 tablets in our school at the moment. but. Um, very straightforward, you share the canvas with the children, the children can access the canvas and they can instantly upload their work straight onto the board, which obviously is really easy for the teacher in terms of assessment to see what's going on, but also it's that immediate feedback. You can go straight to Ben's work or Tom's work, let's have a look at this, why did you think that? Um, and then we can have other children involved in the, the, the feedback and how to improve that work. We found that to be um, that kind of um, immediate assessment to be one of the main benefits. Uh, on this one, you can see actually an example of children working up on the canvas itself. So the first three uh, notebooks there as children writing on the canvas. But over here in these sections, the, the, pit, the, the pictures were taken using the tablets and they've uploaded their work. So it's about a whole collaborative effort. Every children is engaged in the classroom. It's not just one child coming up to an interactive whiteboard and writing. Every single child is actively engaged at the same time. And it's a very collaborative way of working together and creating a community of learners uh, within the classroom. Uh, what I did, this is one of my older uh, projects, uh, but what we did is that I asked each group uh, to work on a number. You can see the numbers at the back of the uh, background, as it were, so they knew where to upload their work, and, and then we'd be able to speak 
to each group for feedback at the end. And because children can access the canvas whenever they want, when you come to the end stage and you're writing, they can easily go back to the canvas, look at what they did, look at what other people did, steal ideas. Um, so it's really good. It's not just writing, writing on a whiteboard and then it gets wiped. It's there. In um, collaboration, as we've mentioned, you can have up to 10 children working on it at the same time. Then you can have you can have groups of children working on one tablet, you can have individual children working on one tablet each, you can have their class working on the canvas at the same time. Um, we did last year with two year one classes, one of the year one classes, what they did was um, they had a math challenge, it was like a math, math competition, so one year one class set a challenge for the next door year one class and they had to answer the questions and because the answers go up straight away and the questions go up straight away, the kids absolutely loved it because they were sharing, they were collaborating, they were challenging each other um, and also it allows teachers to see what's going on in the next door class as well and what ideas are coming up from that class. So it is, it is truly amazing where you can have live sessions happening at the same time. So we can have live sessions with other schools in the country or in different countries at the same time. And that would like, really enrich the children's learning experience and cre create that global community, as it were, of learning. And you can see it's quite easy. These are, this, this is my class here, they're a mixture of year one, two children. And then these are reception children. So these are quite young children, um, but they find this technology um, quite easy to access and put their ideas up. This is an example of the tablets that we have in our school. Uh, it, once again, it's based on the same piece of software that are, that's up on the large piece of canvas. Uh, there's a few slight differences whereby the children has a, a section at the bottom where they can edit their work before they upload their uh, work to the canvas. So it just gives them time to uh, think about what they're uploading to become a critical thinker as well because once it's uploaded from the tablet it can't be removed from the span wall unless you actually go up yourself so they put a lot of thought process uh, initially before they put it up so it, it, it enables them to reflect and to edit their work so their best work goes up on the board and for those children who have learning difficulties um, and feel reluctant to share their work um, like last year I had a child in my class who had dyslexia really reluctant, quite shy to share her, her work. But what this allowed her to do is it allowed her more thinking time, she then got to write it, she then got to see it before she then decided she was happy with it to go up on the canvas. So that just took that um, anxiousness away um, from her when she's sitting in a class with the children, she has to write it directly onto a whiteboard and there's children sitting around her um, and she has to show it straight away. Um, so that really takes that um, pressure off those um, special needs children. Okay, so another area where we've been developing in our school is that we're using it for the teachers as well as for the children. Uh, we uh, have frequent staff meetings and one of our staff meetings we were like we wanted to see the progression of writing across multiple year groups. Uh, so each teacher uh, worked in a collaborative manner and we all uploaded examples of our writing so that you could see the progression through each year and it's a very visual way of uh, uh, showing or, or assessing pro progression in any subject you so wish. Uh, so how are we using SPAN to, um, to plan and deliver lessons? We plan everything on SPAN, science, maths, English lessons, um, and it, what it's really good for is to show progression. So this was a book that, that was they were doing in Upper Key Stage 2 called Wolf Brother, and I'll just go through a couple of the slides. So you can see the journey through the, through the story. Um, children are sharing ideas on their tablets via post-it post notes, and you, saw this, you can see the different stages to the learning journey. There's a, a child's piece of work being shared on the board, highlighted with the features um, that were expected, and then the children were able to sit and talk about that and give feedback to that child, um, which, which obviously, coming from the class, 
is um, sometimes more beneficial than coming straight from the teacher. Uh, this is an example of just one canvas. So uh, between three slides, we managed to show just one piece of work on, on one canvas. So truly, it just shows a journey of learning. Uh, and it also gives children a time to reflect on pe uh, previous parts of the journey. So it's, it's very easy to slide back saying, oh yeah, I need to know, uh, to know more useful vocabulary, so I go back to the vocabulary section. Or, oh, I need to revise over a grammar section that we introduced here, let me just check on it, and then I can move on again. So it gives an opportunity for children to learn at their own pace as well, uh, to reflect uh, and to edit as well, yeah. as you can see up here. I think one of the things that I found is that when you're creating word maps and things on the board, um, before it wasn't so easy unless you printed it out and gave it to the children so that they had that or you put it up on your wall, it wasn't easy for them to go back. And obviously we don't always have time to go and print these out and, and put them on the table, but you could just say to them, go back to the canvas, look at the word maps we created and use those. So we always have the tablets available so that they're able to do that. This is just another example of another canvas. Uh, we showed many literacy uses. Uh, so we're now going to show, show also science. But like uh, Charlotte said, it can be used in any subject. You can be as, can be as creative as you want. Uh, so it's just an example of uh, like imposing an image and using the notes and then actually uh, writing on the canvas. Uh, so uh, using various features to put your uh, message across to the children for you to teach. This is a Word document, so it's just image capture and upload it straight away. It's so user friendly, and that's really what the children enjoy too when they're using it, is that they're not confused. They, it, they can come up to the board immediately and use it, even if they've never seen it before. They were like, it, it, it's very, very user friendly. And here is just, a, a, if you scroll the span along, it's just progression as well. So it's about what we're testing, what needs to be a fair test, what's our variable. So it's just another example of how to teach science. Uh, and also, the children absolutely love seeing their images up on the board themselves. And it gets them really enthused about their learning. So we're just getting, putting up images. And it's also a good way of showing uh, the learning journey in the classroom too, in case any other teacher or anyone who, uh, who wants to see what's happening in the classroom too. This is one of the lessons that I did with a key stage one class. Um, so, to, uh, so, similar to what I showed you before, um, it was a, the book that we were studying, Dear Father Christmas, took a picture of the text, put it up. This was a comprehension exercise. So we were looking at how to answer comprehension questions. Um, I knew it was something that my children struggled with. So at first I just gave them the tablets or I asked them to come up on the board and I asked them to write the answer to the questions so that then we could deal with their misconceptions and then we could look at good modeling of how you answer comprehension questions. Um, it also um, allowed the children to come up with their own success criteria. They're on their Android tablets. They can just flick up the things as they're learning, th the things that they need to remember to do when they go off and do their task. And then at the end, we shared some of our work. Some of, that, some of the children did that through post-it notes. Some of them decided to work um, via the sketch. Um, and then we moved on to the next lesson, um, which was to identify the features of a letter. But we could look back at our journey. How did we start? What are we doing now? What did we learn? What are we now, do what are we now doing next? And um, it's quite easy to annotate um, anything that you put up, any documents you put, it's quite easy to annotate them as well. So this is what our children think of the boards. So you've got Lily and Aidan, who are six and five years old. Um, Lily likes it because it's so big, and you can see it out in the corner of your eye. Um, she likes the new whiteboards because it looks like a big piece of paper. Um, and Aidan and reception like the whiteboards because it's new technology and because it's longer than three children. Um, which, yeah, that's something they, they absolutely love, is that so many of them can come up and use it. Whereas, as Owen mentioned, rather than you handing the pen to one child and then coming up, and then sharing their work, all of them can come up. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, like Alana, uh, she's also mentioned about the size, but once again, it's about 
using not just writing but able to upload images to convey what they want to show in their learning. So it's not just about writing or not just about a, it, like a math sum, it's about their way of learning and they're able to portray their way of learning. So it gives lots of children the opportunity to, to show their work in various means. And then Mia has also talked about how fun they are. She, uh, she could talk about putting two presentations at once. So a new update is that they're going to make the boards even longer again. So you can have a, like a, a, a very long learning journey, as it were. And, and she's using it for lots of different subjects. And she's talking about the tablets once again in sync with the boards. Uh, once again, he says, my classmates and I. So he's talking about collaborative work again uh, for a truly interesting learning experience. because. Children, they say they live in the digital age, and for them to, uh, to be thoroughly engaged with the technology is great, but we need to get their engagement and uh, turn into a learning tool for them so they can progress as well, which is really important. So, um, the main points, the big difference between other whiteboards and these whiteboards is obviously um, that they are collaborative. Um, that they allow for children to work on the Android tablets, they allow children to work, ten, up to 10 children to work on the board, so you can have the whole class involved in their learning. Um, and main, another main point is obviously the size, which the children absolutely love, um, and the whole class are interactive and engaging at once, um, which we as teachers have found um, to be really beneficial in our lessons in terms of getting the children engaged. So, uh, before, main few things before we leave you is that the one, the one most important thing you should do leaving here is try it for yourselves. It's a shame we couldn't show it up here uh, because we don't have the span wall in this centre itself, but if you do take a trip down to C300, yeah. Uh, then you can see it firsthand for yourselves and we'll, we'll be down there too so if you've got any more questions uh, specific about your schools or businesses or whatever then you can have, we're more than happy to answer to the best of our abilities there's also the developers uh, for, uh, the, themselves down there or the technicians so if you've got any technical questions they'd be able to answer them as well uh, we've also got a lot of canvases so you can have a look at um, some of our planning some of our learning journeys there as well and you can see how it works on an actual wall um, and we welcome anyone to come and visit our school we've got email email address down here so if you want to come and see it for yourselves and come and look at lessons and how it's working um, you're welcome to just contact us and we'll be happy to have you yeah